when painting ceramic tiles, it's essential that you prime these. These are glazed, so they need a correct primer, otherwise your paint won't stick to it. So all I'm using is bin primer. Now, if you were applying this to a broad area, you're probably better using an old emulsion roller, which is a mini roller. These don't tend to melt the same as the sponge rollers. And again, when you're using it, don't overwork it, because the more you work it, the more texture you'll put into the bin primer. So with this only being this tile, I'm just going to use it with a brush. So applying it straight on. So that's it. So when doing these tiles, essential that you clean them. Um, make sure there's no mould on the grout lines. And with this stuff, you can paint over a certain amount of oil or grease, but it's better to remove it first. So clean off your working surface and make sure it's totally dry before you apply it and then just leave it to dry generally with this depending on heat humidity 45 minutes but being on ceramic tile which is quite cold I would leave it definitely more than four hours if you can leave it overnight so, this tile I've already painted, but one half I've primed and one half I've just left tile. And this is an ordinary matte emulsion, a scrubbable emulsion, but it's just a water based paint that's sitting on here now. And with my thumbnail, I'm just going to draw it across the surface. So straight away you can see this half has been primed, this half hasn't. So this will come off really easy. Whereas this nothing. Do you prime him? and it'll be sound. When this is fully dry, use some very fine sandpaper. So this is about 120. And then, key the surface. Dust it off. And just apply your paint.
So I will apply two coats to this. And then what you could do when these tiles are fully dry is add your own random pattern. So a stencil I've made, just pop that over. I'm going to use a brush on this, just stipple it on. But it's a bit awkward, It'll probably get a little bit messy, but keeping the brush vertical. carefully lift it off and then with a cocktail stick we just add some veins while the paint's still wet so you can see the finish there these are both a matte paint, but it just shows, gives you the effect, almost similar to what you may find on a uh, printed paper. Now with this other tile, I'm going to do something a little bit different. I'm going to use the same stencil, but then this time I'm going to use a satin finish on top of the mat. So again, keeping the brush vertical. So this time I'll just leave that to dry, I won't add any veins or anything. Now this is completely dry and you may notice or it doesn't look like there's any pattern on there but the colours are exactly the same, it's just the finish. So when you start to look along the edge of it, you start to see the leaf, not really that easy to see. But it just gives that, that subtle effect. So across a broad wall, it would look quite good. Again, just a random tile. So, bit of an idea of the beauty. With these stencils you can reuse these constantly till they actually tear or break and depending on where the tear is and how long it's took you to make it then you can always patch the tear up so simply taking a piece of lining paper you can make your own stencil so ordinary knotting some methylated spirits, a pot for washing your brush out, and a natural bristle brush. Now, with this stencil, you can see the size of it, so it fits well within that paper. So I don't necessarily need to go all the way up to the edge. I could always cut out. So, using some of this knotting, can be quite liberal with it and it will soak through so whatever surface you're working on make sure it's not going to be get damaged because this stuff will soak straight through so straight on I 
The idea with this is the knotting makes it waterproof, stiffens up the paper and when it's waterproof then when you're using your paints near it it's not going to go to pulp. There's no real need to do the other side because like I say this will soak through but just to ensure coverage so it's soaked through just give it a rub over and then straight away clean this brush out and that now just into warm soapy water give it a good wash meanwhile just hang this or leave it to dry somewhere flat where it's not going to stick once this is fully dry it's ready for your pattern so whatever you choose just draw your pattern on and you can cut it to size and then it's ready to go.